They have become the first state to ban pride flags in public and charter school classrooms. No more pride flags. No more Black Lives Matter flags. None of that woke stuff in our classrooms. This the, the state representative Justin Jones was blocked. You know, he's a good guy, he's a progressive. He, uh, he was blocked from speaking against this by the Republicans in the legislature, in the Texas and Tennessee legislature. Uh, he tried to point out that this was, you know, done following just by a couple days a Nazi rally in, in downtown Nashville. And, but, it, you know, it didn't do any good. They, they blocked him from talking. The bill's primary sponsor was a Republican state represented by the name of Gino Bolso, Bulso, B-U-L-S-O. Uh, Bulso said in, Jan in a January interview with the local news station WKRN that the uh, LGBTQ plus pride flag represents values and ideas that he opposes including the 2015 Supreme Court ruling, uh, Obergefell, that uh, legalized gay marriage. I predict within, you know, uh, within a year or two, the Supreme Court will reverse itself on Obergefell. We've already heard from Clarence Thomas and Sam Alito that they want to reverse that decision. But uh, Bulso turns out, uh, in addition to being a state lawmaker, he's a lawyer. And he has a law firm who makes money helping parents sue school districts. And in fact, he has helped parents who don't even have children in school districts, in public schools, sue those public schools for, for you know, books that he doesn't like or the parents don't like. And now they'll have another basis for lawsuits, that being pride flags. If a teacher wears a little pride pin. If you've got a gay teacher who's got some kind of, you know, pride emblem somewhere in their classroom. Sorry. Yeah, and, and, the, and the enforcement mechanism, he's, he's following on Texas. The enforcement mechanism is that parents can sue the school for money. And he just happens to make a living suing schools for money. I'm assuming it's a he. Uh, the first name is Gino. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming it's a he. And this, this came just, uh, you know, a week or two after Nex Benedict, the non-binary teenager in Oklahoma, was, was murdered uh, or died uh, at the hands of uh, or after being assaulted by students in a public school. And, uh, you know, queer youth consistently report higher rates of bullying, physical threats, and other forms of harassment, according to data from the Centers for Disease Control. And yet... I mean, Republicans just delight in this, in the, in the, um, in the violence and the brutality of it. There have been over 33 attempts at legislation across the United States just this year. Keep in mind, it's March 1st, or it's March 4th. Yeah, it's the first week of March. Just this year, in other words, for two months, January and February, there have been 33 pieces of legislation dropped in red states that would make life miserable for, for gay people, for the queer community. Everything from the new trans bathroom bills, they're back, to, uh, you know, attacking gay marriage, to uh, trying to criminalize uh, gay sex. I mean, it's just on and on it goes. They are not going to stop until they've turned America into America in 1950. This is the goal of the Republican Party. You know, no more visible queer people in America. Black people should know their place in America. Hispanics could, should go back to Mexico in America. Asian people should go back to Asia. This is, this, this is the consistent, Native Americans shut up and stay on the reservation. This is the consistent message of the white supremacist Christian nationalist Republican Party in the United States.